This is our first video for Unit 9, and we're going to be simplifying radicals. We're going to primarily just focus on the square root variety. You know, when we simplify square roots, we're thinking of, um, like for instance, square root of 9, okay? When I simplify that, I'm thinking, what makes 9? Well, two threes make 9, all right? So because I have a pair, the answer to this is 3. Our first problem here says the square root of 120. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to factor the number, okay? I want to factor the number. So when I think of 120, I'm going to try to think of numbers that I can make a pair with. Well, we know 120 is like 2 and 60. Okay, I don't have a pair there yet. 60 can be broken down. Factors of 60 would be like 2 and 30. Well, there's a pair right here, okay? 30 breaks down as well. That would be 2 and 15. And then 15 is 3 and 5 when I break that down into its factors. I'm looking at my pairs. I only have one pair. So my one pair right here, that's going to be a number that I put in front of a square root. Okay, So I'm going to have 2 in front of a square root. Again, this 2 right here came from a pair. Now, do I have any other pairs here? I have a 2, a 3, and a 5. Okay, so I don't have anything else there. 2 times 3 times 5 is 30. Um, just look back. We broke, we broke those three numbers down from this. Okay. So my final answer on this one is 2 square root of 30. My second problem here. Notice I already have a 3 in front. Right? I got to simplify the inside, though. Let's do a different color here. 18. Well, 18 is 2 and 9. And 9 is... 3 and 3. Well, there's a pair. x squared, we know, is x and x. Okay, so that's a pair. Now, y to the fifth, I'm going to break that down. y to the fifth is y times y to the fourth. Notice what I did. I just subtract, I just took one out and made it y to the fourth. It took one and made it y to the fourth. Well, y to the fourth we can break down. y to the fourth is y squared and y squared. And there's a pair. The good thing about exponents, guys, is you, you can have an even number and break it evenly. Okay? So, for instance, well, let me talk, to, talk about that later. Let's finish this problem here. We have a pair here, a 3, and another pair y squared, and another pair x. So in addition to the, the 3 that's in front, I'm going to have 3 times another 3, that's from this, times an x, times a y squared. Inside my square root, what is left? Well, I have a 2. That's not paired up, and I have a single y left. So 2y goes inside the square root. Let's simplify this. 3 times 3 is 9. So we get 9xy squared, square root of 2y. What I was saying earlier was... Um, with the exponents. So I'm just going to quickly make something here. Uh, if you have like y to the seventh, okay, guys, you know, I can make that y times y to the sixth, right? 
or if I had like x to the fifth. That is x times x to the fourth. I'm just taking one out. And then I could break up the y to the sixth, the x to the fourth. That would be 3 and 3. This would be x squared, x squared. See the pairs? That's the pairs. My final example here. Again, we have a 5x outside. We're going to simplify 36x squared. Um, maybe I already know a square root. If you know the square root of 36, that's a good thing. You know, 36 is 6 and 6. Well, there's my pair. I'm good. On my x, notice my even exponent. That's a good thing. x squared breaks up as x and x. There's another pair. Okay, so do I have anything left inside? I have two pairs here, but I have no single ones. So that means the square root is gone. Altogether, we have a 5 and an x. We have a times a 6 times an x. Okay, let's put that all together. This equals 5 times 6 is 30. x and x is x squared. Remember, add the exponents on that. And there you have it, guys. Simplifying square roots. We're trying to make the inside of the radical smaller. Sometimes it goes away, sometimes they don't. All right, you guys have a good day.